Hello everyone and welcome. You may have noticed I've been absent. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been fighting PD really hard the last couple of weeks. It's been really rough. But a package arrived today from Motorist and the last day or two I've been coming out of the funk so I'm feeling pretty good this is always a reason to feel good when someone sends you a package Un unboxing day is really gonna put a smile on my face as does for you I'm sure I have no idea what's in here except that this was motorists response to my brass alphabet lock list so let's see what's in here. I, I know generally what's in here, but not specifically what's in here. Here we have a tall brass shackle padlock from Vachette. So that'll take care of the letter V. Heron Shackle made in France. Oh, my camera just loves to focus. All right, cool. That'll take care of and, and it's got a key. Looks like a one, two, three, four. This key has seen better days. Maybe I can clean that up a little bit. I'm, I'm buying a few uh, chemicals. That is to say oil and rust remover next month. Gonna go and preserve and clean up some locks. Not cleaning where they would ruin the story, but cleaning them is for maintenance purposes. Anyway... Uh, what's this? Ah, nice packaging, by the way. And by the way, I, I keep this stuff because you know, there's coming a day soon when uh, I'll be sending stuff out to people. If you have noticed, I'm on my way to 200 subscribers, so maybe it's getting time for me in the next month or two to think about maybe a 200 subscriber giveaway oh lips wow look at that loose tolerance and it's got a protruding derriere that, that, that's what I call a protruding derriere when, when the key, when the core sticks out like that <laughs> it's got a protruding butt lips that takes care of the letter L yeah, it's got it on both sides. Huh. Semi-paracentric QA. That's going to be a challenge to pick. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh boy, that's a 5 banger. I'll set these over here. Put that back. I don't want to take too much time dilly-dallying around. Let's just get to opening these. Oh, he sent me a lot more than I thought. A lot more than I thought. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's nice. Zenith. Got one for the letter Z. And it's on both sides. 45. One, two, ooh. That looks like a five. Big key. That takes care of the letter Z. In, oh, and that's going to be a challenging keyway. Oh, yes. Looking forward to having a lot of fun with these. Get in there, you little shit. All right. There's a lot more in this box than I thought. Oh, wow. 
I'm going to cover quite a few letters of the alphabet today, that's for sure. Okay, just in the interest of saving time, I'm just going to leave that in the box. And It's an ox lock, so that takes care of the letter O. I'll have a better look at that one later. Don't want to take up too much time. Because uh, i got to think about maybe I want to open one of these up on camera. Because that, that would be really nice if I could open one out of this box without spending too much time doing it. Get back into the groove of things. Ooh, City ICO. Uh, this is interesting. There is a ton of locks I've not heard of. Same thing on the other side. He's got some challenging keyways for me, I'll tell you that. Hmm. This is a key of some importance. Uh, a lock of some importance. It's in good condition, but it was definitely used for something. I like locks that are old but in good condition. Yeah, who doesn't, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, here's one for Mini Lock Monday. Here's a Mini Lock Monday lock. A little, a little Yale. This one's got number two on it as well. Looks like an easy enough keyway. Oh, fun picking that. Looks like a one, two, three, four, four pinner. All right, have fun picking that. Here, this looks like a regular size, normal 40 millimeter. Oh, it's an Ace of Abloy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. And it's a one, two, three, four. High lift, low lift, high lift, low lift. Oh, geez. <laughs> it's got Nemeth on it, so that takes care of the letter N. Oh, here. Let me show it to you. Duh. Yeah. I have not seen or heard of any of these before. Now, oh, this is quite a haul, man. Wolfpack. That takes care of the letter W. Pretty... Pretty semi-challenging keyway. Uh, this looks like a one, two, three, four, five pinner. Oh boy, I got me some challenging locks here. Certainly covering quite a few letters of the alphabet. That's for sure. What pray tell is this? Ooh, this takes care of the letter V. Vero. Made in, let's say Italy. Made in Italy. Excellent. It's in pretty good shape. Shiny, shiny brass. Looks like a one, two, three, four, five. Another five pinner. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick one of these on the camera today. I guess quite a few challenging. And maybe I'll go for that smaller one. Red line, Draper Red Line. I've not heard of any of these before. This is incredible. Yeah, I should be able to pick this one. We'll set that one aside right there. That looks easy enough to pick. And the last one, is there anything else in there? Or is that just packaging? This is packaging. This is the last of the lot. Wow. Look at this. Cash. I, I actually have heard of cash. That does sound familiar to me. I don't know the significance of the number, but I... 
that does ring a bell. Got a number one on it. I don't know what the significance of that is. That's a fairly challenging keyway. I think I'm going to have a little difficulty with that one, but that's the lot right there. That's a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Holy crap, that's a haul of 11 locks. Thanks, motorist. Thanks, Gerard. Wow. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you stayed through the whole video, I really appreciate it. Big shout out to Gerard Motorist for uh, sending me all those locks to add to my brass alphabet lock list collection. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a wonderful day.